store and killed an employee on Chambers last night, just north of Gateway Avenue. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez digging into this story. And Lance, family members tell you the young man who was killed just wanted to be a mechanic. They say Pablo Del Rio Jr. wanted to be a mechanic, that he loved working with cars and had hoped to eventually open his own repair shop. But he was gunned down last night during a robbery at this store. The coroner telling us he was shot once in the back. I had no more Pablo. I had no more son. A distraught father asking why robbers shot and killed his son. Between sobs, Pablo Del Rio Sr. recounted some of his memories. I tell him one time, you know, when, when I get old, you, you take care of me. He said, yes, Dad, I take care of you. <laughs> yes, Dad, you're my hero. So thank you, mijo, thank you. Those memories are all the Del Rio has of his son, Pablo Jr. Police say two gunmen wearing ski masks entered the O'Reilly Auto Parts store at 918 last night, demanding cash. In the midst of this, the victim, unfortunately, he took off and ran out the store, and he was shot at that point. Del Rio Jr. fell in the parking lot. He was taken to University Hospital and died a few minutes later. In the way that it happened, uh, it's just a shock to us all, and none of us really have any closure until whoever did this is caught. The victim's cousins are pleading for anyone who knows anything about the shooting to come forward. Daniel Aguilera says Pablo wasn't perfect, but he was always there to help. He says the victim's cell phone has been ringing off the hook with people asking for help fixing their cars. He noted one caller in particular. She was very saddened by the news and very distraught, began to tear up saying, why? He was such a good guy, such a loving guy. He was my angel. Back live, you can see flowers, balloons, and a sign on Del Rio's SUV, which is still in the parking lot. Someone even left an auto part on the ground next to it as a tribute to the young man. Again, police are asking for help. If you know anything about this case, contact Denver Police or Crime Stoppers. In Northeast Denver, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.